Hey guys, what's up? It's Kevin Schroff, and today we're going to be looking at 8 cool and useful Android mods that everyone should check out. We're going to be covering things in the realm of system-wide customization, battery optimization, performance tweaks, system-level mods, modded apps, and more. Starting with number 1, Substratum. Substratum is a theming engine which works with both rooted and unrooted devices. Substratum allows you to apply system-wide themes on your device. This allows you to customize your device's user interface design, colors, and more. Not just on your built-in system applications like settings, but it even lets you theme other apps installed on your phone. This means your theme will persist across system and third-party applications, which is great from a UI consistency point of view. A popular thing to do with Substratum is apply a dark mode or primarily black-based theme. This can save a significant amount of power on devices with OLED panels, because having the UI primarily consisting of the color black means that most pixels are turned off and therefore not using any power. Number 2. YouTube Vanced YouTube Vanced is a modded YouTube client for Android that includes ad blocking, sponsor blocking, true AMOLED dark mode, background playback, and more. YouTube Vance works with both rooted and unrooted devices. Aside from the very useful aforementioned features, YouTube Vance also has extra customization and settings that allows you to do things like hide YouTube stories in your feed, change comment section location, and more. If you use YouTube at all on your device, it's completely worth using this modded app. Number 3. A custom kernel and or custom firmware. A custom kernel for your device can provide many possible benefits, like improved performance, improved battery life, and improved stability. I personally am using Archer 90 Sounds kernel for my OnePlus 7T Pro, and have noticed much better battery life with this kernel. A custom ROM on the other hand can also come with many benefits. If you're coming from a bloated stock ROM, going to a custom AOSP based one like Lineage OS would probably bring performance and smoothness gains. Custom ROMs often also feature their own feature set and UI, which may again be something worthwhile to look at depending on what you're personally looking for in a ROM. Disclaimer, typically doing either of these mods will require you to unlock your device's bootloader, which may or may not void certain warranties or other DRM protection features. On my 7T Pro, these sort of modifications are allowed by the manufacturer, but as always, you'll need to research this and its risks and benefits on your specific device, should you be interested in flashing a custom kernel or custom firmware. Number 4. Universal GMS DOS Universal GMS DOS is a Magisk module that allows the DOS and battery optimization features of Android to apply to the Google Play services by systemlessly preventing unnecessary GMS services running in the background. This can help save battery life, particularly when your device is in sleep. I install this module on all my Android devices. As this is a Magisk module, this will require root. Number 5. J OnePlus Tools This app is specific to OnePlus phones, but works with both rooted and unrooted devices. If you have a OnePlus device running Oxygen OS, you can customize certain features and settings that usually you don't have access to. I personally use this app to apply a forced 90Hz refresh rate on my 7T Pro, instead of the default adaptive refresh rate that switches between 60 and 90 to save battery. I find the default adaptive refresh rate very jarring in its behavior, so I like to keep it forced at 90Hz. Fortunately, I still get excellent battery life, so this tweak works great for me. Number 6. Modded Google Camera there are several different Google Camera mod builds available with different configurations and optimizations for different devices. Many people use a modded Google Camera build because it can often provide noticeably better image processing and photo quality than what their device's stock camera app can produce. Google Camera is the stock camera app that comes with Pixel phones, and the included HDR Plus technology noticeably improves picture quality, especially on low and mid-range phones. This is why modded Google Camera builds have become quite popular recently. Modded Google Camera builds can be installed and used on both rooted and unrooted devices. Number 7. Modded Instagram Modded Instagram, similar to the concept of YouTube Vanced, allows you to have extra features and settings that you would normally not have access to with the normal app. For example, you can directly download posts off your feed, change direct message visibility settings, copy text from comments and bio, download stories, and more. There are a couple of modded Instagram apps available, with some popular ones being Instander, GB Insta, Instagram Plus, and Insta Pro. Modded Instagram can be installed and used on both rooted and unrooted devices. This concludes the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and let me know in the comment section below if you have any mods which you think are useful and I've missed. Also, if you enjoyed this video, hit the subscribe button and the like button. Thanks for watching guys and see you later.